Last week, I had noted the um, rather large number of bands who pulled out of the music festival in Austin. Um, this struck me as a, well, interesting decision. I'm not sure if it's really something that's going to make a great impact on the American public. To be honest, Ireland is a small country if it comes right down to it. And although it may annoy the organisers of a music festival in Austin, it's not going to exactly derail it. But Here's some other reactions to it. The NME, which is still going, which I was surprised by. I don't know if it's going in print form still. I suspect it's only going in a digital form. Um, for those who are younger, younger, uh, younger viewers, the NME is the new musical edition, which was a popular musical periodical, which was the kind of thing people, when I was a teenager, read to read about bands. Yes, I was once a teenager, believe it or not. The view from SX. SW 2024, a festival mired in confusion and controversy. In promoting a partnership with the U.S. Army and defense contractors, the Austin event lost out on a slew of new talent while other acts rolled together at alternative events. It does give you sort of a, a feeling of echoes of sort of the 1960s and a summer of love and sort of um, people protesting about Vietnam. But the problem is the situation in Gaza is, well less clear cut in some ways I, i'm somewhere in the middle as i support a, a ceasefire and and i've made that plain repeatedly but i don't think it's an exactly clear cut situation out there however i don't think i'd want to be playing myself at a festival where the u.s military was sponsoring it i'll be quite frank i wouldn't want to be whipping out a guitar and knocking out a song there dozens of acts including kneecap lambrini girls fantastic name um, and Rachel Chinorori opted to pull out of the festival at the last moment, while others made statements in solidarity with Palestine or donated their arts fees to relief funds. For those in attendance, an atmosphere of disdain and disappointment towards SXSW was palpable. Yeah, just me, as does SXSW sound like the model number for an early computer or something, or for an Atari ST model from the late 80s or something like that? Every time I see it, I, I keep thinking of something like that. Regardless of the artists' varying responses to the boycott, the majority of whom were faced with per great personal costs, whatever they choose to do, the direct link between companies manufacturing weaponry and a music festival felt majorly, direfully concerning for the, all those involved. Direfully concerning? Oh, who is writing this stuff? Can we get some editors on these public direfully concerning? Can the editors get it re-involved in these? Anyway, in a statement posted to X, formerly Twitter, organisers said they respected artists to right to free speech while also explaining their decision to work with the US Army. Yeah, it's called this moolah. The defence industry has historically been a proving ground for many of the systems we rely on. These institutions are often leaders in emerging technology, and we believe it's better to understand how the approach will impact our lives. There has been immense fervour shown towards edX SW in recent years. I'll admit it's not a music festival I'm familiar with. I'm a bit out of the age where music festivals, and especially regional ones, would be, of ex ex you know, something I'd be fascinated to. I still listen to music that is probably, people will be surprised for my age group, but... Music festivals, there's so many of them ongoing, it will be impossible to keep up with all of them. I can't really see on the, on the, in the long run, though, as these bands dropping out as doing anything but having a minor impact. I suppose, on the other hand, at least they're sticking with some convictions. Here we have the Irish Times. Oh, look, there's Leo again. <laughs> let's see who takes over after leo maybe i should run a sweepstakes or something and we could all have a a little bet on it personally i i can't see you know god knows who it will be i'm i'm not sad to see him go i'll be quite frank about it i thought you know i just found the criticisms on based on his race distasteful i didn't like his politics though so. irish bands boycott sxsw can we find out how we're formatting this for um, um, festival's name? As I've seen it done with an S with a capital X, and um, now with an S with a lower capital X, uh, we're all going to sleep better having stayed at home. Well, you normally do. 
that's got a little video about it. I personally, summing this up, think, you know, yes, I wouldn't play there, but unless this is going to become sort of some mass movement with a load of really big name bands, it's all it's going to do is be a kind of small pinprick that's going to be a kind of matter of minor note that a few people like me will comment on, a few newspaper articles, and it's be forgotten. Obviously, if you're going to protest, you have to start somewhere. And it's, you know, all protests start somewhere. Some go somewhere, some don't. But I'll be fascinated to see how it goes. Kneecap themselves are a band that's causing much controversy. And I, I will admit to a certain amount of um, humor in watching how the press deal with them. 